Hello Beshi Cells, ito pong video message na ito ay para po sa mga hindi pa nabigyan ng yes ni Lord sa kanilang board exam results and it has been a few days po since the result and uh, ang nasa isip ko pa rin po ay sana ay magi instrument ng comfort ni Lord sa ating mga Beshi Cells nga na nagdudusa po sa, sa painful experience na ito. Although, it is actually, in reality, hindi natin maikakailan na talagang masakit na experience, it can be something beautiful also because I am speaking from experience, Beshis. Just recently, I have undergone a very personal, challenging situation where God broke me into a million pieces because He wants to build in me a new creation that will experience beautiful um, blessings what I'm trying to say is no, I can't really say specifically kung ano po yung napagdaanan ko po hindi pa po ako ready pero ang masasabi ko lang po sa inyo because the Lord has been impressing on me to share this with you that we may think of this situation as a, an opportunity to be closer to God I know that no one wants to be in pain, no one wants to experience hardships but it's part of God's plan po eh. And if we think about it this way, maybe we can be encouraged to persevere, to endure, and to eventually be, be able to move forward in our lives. If we think about this situation as something that God uses to be closer to us. It's like God saying, Anak, gusto kong um, bumalik ka sa akin, gusto kong mag maging close tayo. Gusto kong mas makita mo ako sa bawat sitwasyon. Kaya kita pinapadaan sa mahirap na daan. Kasi gusto kong may matutunan ka at mas maramdaman mo ang aking presensya. Maybe we're so clouded with a lot of factors that we are already forgetting who God is in our lives and who we really are. Maybe God is using this situation to let you realize something about yourself that you did not, you did not know before or you're too stubborn to see before. When we humble ourselves, mga beshi cells, God will always use the situation to um, bring out the things that He wants to give uh, to give us. You know, our God is a good God. He is a great God, and He is a kind God. Even when the situation breaks us apart, we can still say that God is good because His plans are always good. We may not really understand right now. Because we're just humans, we cannot comprehend every every way that God does. But when we put our trust in Him, He is able to move in our lives very, very uh, significantly. If we magnify our God in the in the situation we are in, and we, we we remind ourselves that God is bigger than anything, we may be we uh, we can be able to overcome. Although, of course, we can acknowledge that it is really painful. Kasi ako talaga nasaktan din po ako and I don't, I don't think that I will be ever in that will be ever in that situation tama ba English ko? <laughs> I don't think na talagang pagdadaanan ko po yung pinagdaanan ko not in my imagination that I will uh, I, I, I see myself na makaka-experience po noon but God still no, uh, amidst the, the things that I um uh, uh, I, and I say this with all humility, I uh, mean, the things that I, I think I'm doing for God, no, I, I think I'm doing good naman, and etc. I, I came to a point that I, I was questioning God na, bakit ako? Ba't ako pa? Parang ganun na, do I deserve this pain? Do I deserve this struggle? You know, when I was able to really surrender my pain to him and all my questions because i i think i i am able only to function when i understand why things happen but when i let go of that and i just said lord let your will be done kung ano po yung plano niyo sa buhay ko and now i will just follow i may not be able to understand i may question from time to time i may uh, cry about it and again question but when i think about jesus and his sacrifice for us imagine sinless person very perfect um a uh, human being and at the same god at the same time god and he was you know he he, he died for our sins so parang nasasabi ko sa sarili ko sino ako para mag question si si lord nga na walang kasalanan eh uh, naghirap din bakit pa ako parang sa sarili ko parang sobrang guilt yung nararamdaman ko bakit pa ako nagque question na bakit nangyayari sa akin to eh hindi naman po ako perfect hindi rin ako sinless 
so that was i was able to you know let go of that part of me um whenever i think about the sacrifice of jesus christ and maybe it may also help you when you think about that that way and i do pray that you you see the situation as something that god uses to be closer to us kasi beshi ako hindi ko rin na imagine na may may, may mas maiko-close pa pala ako sa panginoon and our relationship can can still grow deeper pa pala na, to the point that i am really really happy with my 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 um journey with god with my walk with god because before beshi sells I can say no na okay naman kami may may relationship ako kay Lord but um you know there there was a prayer in my heart that I didn't know na meron but then through the painful experience through the brokenness that I experienced something beautiful came out and that is I am already walking with God with my husband with my baby with my family hindi lang ako because before it's just me I was not, you know, aware that I should be praying that uh, my husband be able to have a relationship with God too, my baby, my, my mother, my father, my siblings, my friends. But then through this situation, I was able to realize that God was saving others through my brokenness. He used my pain, He used my tears, He used my brokenness to bring the people I love closer to Him. And so right now I can say that even even though I really had a difficult time processing everything that happened to me personally if I am given a, a choice um na kung ikaw ba Kriza ay gusto mo na buo ka pero malayo yung pamilya mo sa Dios or babasagin kita pero ang at the end lalapit sila sa Dios para pareho kayong lalapit sa Dios Mga beshi, I would always choose the latter. I would always willingly be in pain kung ang kapalit naman nun ay ang pagkakaligtas ng mga mahal ko sa buhay. Ang pagkakaroon nila ng relationship kay Lord through my brokenness. I'm just giving this an, as, as an example and I'm, um, I'm not saying that this this is the, the, the expected outcome for everyone. No, Siyempre may kanya-kanya po tayong story. But then, I all I wanna say tonight is that out of this brokenness will come a beautiful thing so let us trust god and in his plans in his timing in his ways and let us believe that god is good he is always good even when we do not understand he is good so i pray that you'll be able to you will be able to surrender your pain to him and let go of the of the um pain don't make it your 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 um burden anymore you give it to god because he is willingly um asking to um carry it for you and ang kapalit nun blessings upon blessings upon blessings i pray that you will be able to heal from that pain and the beautiful thing i makita mo din in god's perfect time because kas, uh, katulad nga po dun sa kanta na na-share sa kanang student before when i was uh, when i was experiencing that part painful part of my my life redeemer of the rain redeemer of the rain the lord will never waste our pain he brings beauty out of brokenness and hope to our heartaches i forgot the next part but <laughs> another song that you may also be able to use to you know process your pain is blessings by laura story Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your name? What if droughts of this life are your mercies in disguise? Beshies, believe that everything happens for a reason. And yung pung evil na plinano ng enemy sometimes God allows because he's God and he can turn things around he can turn your pain into something beautiful so hold on to your faith and sana po mas piliin yung magtiwala sa Panginoon 
I know it's hard and easier said than done, but with prayer, it can happen. It happened to me when I thought um, I won't be able to come out of it alive and well, but I hope you can see through me that even when the hardest uh, things in our lives happen, God is still good. I pray for your healing, Beshi. You are not alone, and God loves you so much. Bye.